when seven cadets boarded the Earth's most advanced spacecraft in the year of our Lord 2120, they had no idea what was in store for them. Peaceful and advanced, the Earth had also grown complacent. An alien device landed in the Rocky Mountains and promptly erased humanity from history. I am Captain Matt Stone, and today I lead a ragtag group of humans and aliens on a lonely quest to restore the Earth. Someday we will return, but for now our home is called Mars Station. Welcome aboard Discovery, Ambassador Sagal. We are ready to transport you to the station. Thank you so much Commander. Where is Captain Stone? He is still inspecting the new station. We never even were sure what was going on. It must have been quite a time. We are pleased that you have accepted the new agreement. Having some structure again feels good. Faith Rose, our ambassador, and Lacey Jean are waiting with the documents on the station. After the signing ceremony, we would like to invite you to a Christmas party. Christmas? What is that? One of your traditions? It is complicated, the Christmas story. You'll like it though. We are even planning some caroling. I am looking forward to it. I am glad something remains of the Earth. Captain's Log Our tears dried, the new space station built by worker bots is thrilling us. The new ops section is spacious, and unlike the last station, this one has a berthing, mess hall, medical bay and lounge built in. We also have a new medical ship and an interstellar ship with a drive system that we are not familiar with yet. We have named her the Independence. Discovery is transporting the new Atlantis Ambassador Kate Sogol to the station for the formalizing of the Triplanets Agreement, which will create a cooperative structure between Earth, Mars, and New Atlantis. The Independence is out beyond Jupiter with a crew training on her. Fortune is patrolling between the orbits of Earth and Mars as we are seeing stepped-up alien activity.
Ambassador, the new station. We are all thrilled with it though we have been through a lot. We will land in the shuttle bay and proceed to the conference room. Somehow I expected it to be larger than this. I think it will be good for us. The old one was cramped and inconvenient though we loved it. Will Captain Stone be available when we get there? I so want to meet him. He should be. Of course there is an emergency of one kind or another nearly every day around here so he may be distracted. Ambassador Hello. I am Captain Stone. Faith Rose and Lacey Jean will be joining us soon. I am glad to finally meet you. Likewise Captain. I have been looking forward to this as well. Would you have time to give me a tour before the signing ceremony? Of course. Follow me down the ladder. Be careful. This station was made for military people, not diplomats. So this is your operations room? How much have your capabilities been expanded over the last station? Well we have much better analytical ability and are able to watch the solar system more effectively for one thing. The food synthesizers produce much more food and that is a good thing with the increases in numbers that we are experiencing. I heard you have a child here as well. Did someone have her? No actually we rescued Lisa as we call her from a prison camp and adopted her. She is a joy to this place. Captain, I have an inbound signal. You need to see this. Excuse me ambassador. This is routine around here. Probably nothing. What is it Missy? Matt it is an alien spacecraft headed for Earth. Is Fortune close enough to intercept it? The ship will beat them to Earth. Okay Missy tell them to get moving. Look them over and find out what they are doing. Captain's Lock and North reporting. We are on patrol between Mars and Earth. We have seen a few small alien craft but nothing that we chased. Captain we have orders to intercept a craft headed for Earth. Do we have a lock on it? I have it. It appears to be opening a vortex. Helm flank speed. Yellow alert. Close in. The craft is headed through the vortex. Oh wait something is happening. Report what is happening. The Earth, our civilization, it is back. Somehow they have restored. Oh wait. Something is wrong. I am seeing it here. Everything looks wrong. It looks like something totally different. And I am seeing a crippled shuttle. It is being chased by a fighter. Warn that fighter off. Tell them that they are to discontinue pursuit. They are looking us over. There they go. I guess they know they are outgunned. Form a boarding party. We will board the shuttle. Contact the shuttle and tell them we are trying to help. I am Captain Matt Stone of the Tri Planet Space Defense Force. We are trying to figure out what is happening. Please be patient. Sheena Paul of the Anti-Roman Resistance. I am sorry Captain but I am confused by all this. What is this place you have taken us to? Anti-Roman? The Roman Empire has not existed for many centuries. You look like us but you are not us. Just what is going on here? Where are we? Sheena I will tell you who we are. It will take some time. In the meantime, 
we will make your people comfortable while we sort out what has happened. It is Christmas time so we are, or were, in a festive mood. What is that? Is that a holiday? Christmas? We will fill you in. Your computer core is being downloaded. Hopefully it will help us understand what is happening. Now if you will excuse us, I need to speak with my officers. Captain I have been looking over the data. This is an alternate reality. The Roman Empire never fell in this timeline but it did morph into a brutal worldwide regime. I believe that the aliens we saw are responsible. They must have changed. We need to search for something significant that they changed. I have the computer narrowing it down. We know what year the change was made. It was the year of the birth of Christ. Really? Could the birth of Christ be what we are looking for? That is a near certainty. I believe that they went back in time to stop the child's birth and change what would be. All right Derek. Julie will make up a roster. I am going to send Fortune back in time through the portal. I want volunteers because this could be a one-way mission. Station-wide announcement. This is Captain Stone. As you know, history has been restored but not our history. The Fortune will travel back in time and attempt to undo the damage done by the alien spacecraft. This will be our first experience with time travel and no one here has any knowledge how this works. We have to accept that we may not see our companions again. Good luck. Matt what happens if they cannot return? We will lose eight great people and one is your sister. It is a chance that everyone here takes. The Romans could overwhelm us with numbers and it is only a matter of time that they do. I guess we have no choice. If we destroy the device the earth should revert, right? Possibly but your orders are also to protect the child no matter what. And then once the threat is removed return if you can. This is Commander Elaine. We are headed back through time to undo the damage done by the alien spacecraft. We are facing a number of unknowns including this child that I had never heard before protecting him from possible assassins. Helm engage magnetic drive. Head through the time vortex. Mary I have been sent from God to tell you that you have been chosen to carry his child. You are favored among all women. Lord I am afraid. I do not understand. Do not be afraid, for you will bear a child who will be conceived of the Holy Ghost. He will be called Jesus for he will save his people from their sins. Your cousin Elizabeth is old and she is with child, for with God all things are possible. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let his will be done. Your Majesty I am requesting a caravan. We see a light in the sky and it beckons us to follow. What is the nature of this star? We believe that a great king is to be born in the west and would like to honor him. How high is it in the sky? Is it an ordinary star you see? I estimate it is about 1500 cubits high at most. It is extraordinary. Will you be going to Israel? It could be dangerous. Yes your majesty. We will follow it where it leads us. Get together with your fellow magi and a caravan will be waiting for you. We will send gifts of frankincense and moor and gold. Captain's log we have arrived at the earth and verified the time period. We see the earth as it was.
Scanning. There is a number of alien spacecraft in the area, but they seem to be holding back. I do not see the ship we are pursuing, could the ship that we followed be interfering with them? That is what I would think. There is one other craft. It is over the Middle East. Localizing. It is a Grey Alliance saucer hovering over the city of Nazareth, Israel. Keep the Greys under surveillance. What is that ship that is approaching? It is an unarmed shuttle. They are asking for a conference and would like to have a representative come aboard. Alright see to it. Keep an eye on them. I am Commander Sela of the Arcturan Science Council. I hope you will forgive my confusion. You appear to be a Pleiadian commander commanding an Earth warship from the future. You are correct. It is a complicated story but I work for the humans now. I am sure that you have noticed a number of spacecraft near the Earth. All but one are science vessels. One fighter came through the vortex and it is hiding near the moon. We were concerned that you may be hostile toward us. We are from various systems. Commander, we are only looking for the fighter. Feel free to conduct science as long as you do not interfere with events. I will have a communication sent to the ships to reassure them. Thank you Commander. I hope to meet you again in the spirit of friendship. Zach you are our Middle East expert. Where should we start? We should start in Persia. The scriptures say that three wise men, otherwise known as Magi, followed a star to the Holy Land. We should look for a caravan. We are not certain of the timing but we can try. It could not have been a celestial object as they would track across the sky faster than people could walk. I suggest that we watch for some kind of alien probe. Zach give Jane the information. We will try to talk to the caravan leader and get information. Prepare period costumes. Matt I have some information about the Earth and you are not going to like it. What is the problem Derek? Do you mean that the Romans really did not take over? Correct. I ran four different simulations. While Jesus Christ had an enormous impact on the world, the Roman Empire did not fall because of him. The computer estimates only a 0.1% probability that this situation could have occurred. My conclusion is that the records on the shuttle are false. I do not know the reason. I will get the discovery ready and we will manually investigate the Earth. I was going to suggest something. We know there is a device on the moon. We spotted it on Julie's initial visit to the Pleiadian base. Maybe we should take a close look at it. Okay my friend we will do that too. Tactical report. Have you found the object on the moon? I have the signal. It seems to be broadcasting a fake signal of some kind. Translating. It is the Roman Empire shell. 
they are giving us exactly what we want to see. Charge the forward guns. Battle stations. Helm close to attack range. Destroy it when in range. Enemy fighter inbound. It is the one we saw before. Status report. How much damage did we take? A few scorch marks on our hull. Closing on the device. Firing. Set course for Earth. Helm flank speed. We have landed near a city in what Missy describes as Europe. Try to keep the ship out of sight as we are going into the city for a look around. What if someone sees it? What if you call? We cannot guarantee they won't see it. If you call, pick us up right away no matter what. I am taking readings. This is the area that used to be called Germany. Why did you insist on Europe? We have blonde hair and blue eyes and will be less conspicuous than in many places. Okay take readings and be discreet about it. We will walk around.
Jill I am ready for your report. What did you find? It was at least a century behind us. We destroyed the fighter and also their device. You should not be seeing the Roman Empire anymore. Yes that illusion is gone. What can we expect now? I expect a fleet to enter the solar system soon. They were expecting to show us a Roman fleet to get us to chase an illusion. Alright I have a project for you and Derek to work on. Listen closely. Status report? What is the fleet's destination? They are headed for Earth. They are headed for the fake fleet from Earth. It worked. By the time they figure out what has happened, we will have the Earth and maybe New Atlantis too. Wait we have a problem. Our device has been destroyed. They are wise to us. What is that? Open a channel to the Earth ship. We've been had. By now you know that we have you outgunned and we could fry your ship any time we wanted to. Really Captain can't we talk this out? Can't we reach an agreement? Yes we can. I will let you live if you will leave our solar system. I really don't understand your hostility. Leave this solar system and don't come back. Okay Zach you and Heather will be on the ground. You will go into the town we mapped out. Try to make contact with the Magi. We need to learn about the orb if it is not legend but fact. Anne will be back up for you and she will come in if she has to. How do we get information from them without attracting attention? Just be careful what you say. This is a primitive culture and barbaric so you will have to be really aware of what you say. Choose your words wisely. Do you think the Magi could be the Assassins? No Zack it does not fit. The Assassins will not travel for hundreds of miles like this. Now you two get into your outfits. Wear your uniforms underneath. I really hate this outfit. I am glad that Elaine let us wear our uniforms underneath. It is only for a little while. Welcome to our town. I see you are strangers here. Yes we are. We have money and would like to have a place to sleep for the night. She will have to sleep separately unless you are married. Heather look around for the Magi. They have to be here someplace. May I help you friend? I will have that small statue. Here is your payment. By the way, have you seen any strangers, three males traveling through? Why yes. They are headed to the west toward Jerusalem. We have a celebration in the morning. They should be there. I suggest you go. Okay nice statue my friend. Thank you. Hello stranger. I heard you have been looking for us. You have found us. May I come in? Possibly. I was wondering what you might know about an object up in the sky. You mean birds and clouds. No rumor has it that you are following some kind of star. You know an awful lot about us for total strangers. 
I suspect that you are a man who is well ahead of his time. And I think you are far away from where you came from. Shall we meet again at the celebration tomorrow? Let's do that. What is your name Byran? I am Zachary, and you are? We are whoever you want us to be. A man who is far ahead of his time should be able to figure it out. I will let you sleep. Perhaps some rest will jog your memory. Are we intruding? We would like to speak with you stranger. From the future? Surely you cannot be serious. Let's drop the pretense in our robes. What are you talking about? Drop our robes? We are Orion Security. The fact that these Brill have, have manipulated time and created this scenario concerns us. There is a great amount of attention being given to the birth of this child. Assessing the threat is our job. You are from the future, Heather Stone. You know the outcome of this. What kind of threat does this child pose? Rest assured, the baby Jesus presents no threat to anyone. You Orions tend to be a little paranoid.
So what do you think of the show? Very impressive. I wish I had a little more cooperation from certain people in the audience. We will meet again. For now, enjoy a show from us primitives. Mary are you sure that you can make the trip? Maybe we should wait until you have the baby. I will be alright. Besides, who would we have to care for it? Caesar's timing was really bad. It is only four days to Bethlehem. I will walk and you can ride the mule. Okay then let's get started. I want to get there before the baby comes. Hello stranger how may I help you? We have been following a star in the sky and we're, we're wondering if you have seen it. We believe that a great king will be born. You said a star in the sky. Is it a sign? I am afraid. I need to speak to the king. Can you help me with that? It is hard to get an audience with the king. You may have to wait a few days. Mary we are passing near Jerusalem. Do you want to stop? No I can make it to Bethlehem. It may not be long though. It is just a short distance now. I hope they have room because others are traveling here too. I am sorry Mary. I was told at the inn that they have no room. We can place the baby in a manger for now. I was told that in the morning we can stay at the house we are seeing but it is not ready at the moment. Alright we will have to do that because it is coming soon. The labor pains are getting close together. Look up in the sky. Is it a sign? Get ready to run. Do not fear what you are seeing. I come to bring you great tidings of joy as a baby has been born who will save all of you from your sins. Tell us how to find this child please. Go to Bethlehem. You will find the child wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. That will be a sign for you. Worship him as he is sent for you. We will do that. Thank you Lord. What is that? It sounds like angels singing. Fear has spread through Jerusalem since the wise men came and told their story. Send them to me. I wish to speak with them. Your Majesty you wanted to see us? What is your story? How did you come to be here? Your Majesty we saw a star in the east and took it as a sign. Now we were hoping that you could tell us where to go to find a young child. You need to go to Bethlehem. When you find a child, worship him as you please and then return here to tell me his exact location as I wish to worship him also. He is a boy, a beautiful boy. Praise be to God. How are you doing? I am fine. God protected me and him. We just need to keep him warm. Commander I am picking up a signal about halfway between Jerusalem and Bethlehem. I don't recognize the signature but something is happening. What is your estimate and what is it above? There appears to be a sheep pasture. I am reading heavy emanations on the visual scale but no radiation that I can detect. Helm set a course to observe, not intercept. Science station report. What are we seeing? Life forms of a totally unknown nature. I cannot even tell if they are alien. Why are those people leaving? Are they fleeing? They are leaving in an orderly fashion so I don't think they are afraid. Attention unknown life forms. You are intruding in the Triplanet Space Defense Force Zone. Identify yourselves and your intentions. They do not appear to care that we are here. Tactical charge the forward guns but do not fire without my orders. Commander Elaine, I have positive tracking on three aliens on the surface heading toward Bethlehem. They have energy signatures and probably weapons too. They are coming from the west and are not the Magi. That's our target. Zack, Heather, Anne, and Alicia will be in the team. We will have them assemble in uniforms. 
we won't have to aim for native costumes. Zack your task is to stop the assassins. Full weapons on and don't worry about being seen. We saw a dead town that they will head through. Good luck. We are closing on Bethlehem, Commander. Wait. Alien spacecraft inbound on attack vector. Intercept vector. Warn that ship away. Sound battle stations. I have a message from them not to interfere or they will open fire. We have them outnumbered 4 to 3. Pincer formation. Anne and Alicia set up a crossfire. Heather and I will attack heading forward and you two move in from the sides. Be careful.
Let me go or the girl gets it. I am not joking. You will be sorry. You will suffer for this. What will you do Earth Man? Count of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You Earth people are fierce warriors. There are a number of different planets who want these three. You can have them. I still have a baby to visit. Thanks for all your help. Just one question. Is that girl of yours always that mean? Not normally. She is usually playful and friendly. Just don't make her mad. Tactical status report. How did we do? We took a minor hit or two but got some help from an unknown fighter. We are fully operational. I am seeing an alien device moving toward Bethlehem from Jerusalem. Scan the device for identification and characteristics. Power source undetermined. Shape roughly spherical. Size about 10 feet in diameter. Energy configuration is unknown. Power output is 100 terawatts at least. Speed about 5 miles per hour. Zack and his team may be in danger. Close in. Message from Zack. Assassins eliminated. No casualties. We are proceeding toward Bethlehem. Request pickup. There it is. It is leading us to the child. Let's go. We have a child to worship. It will be an honor to worship this child. What if the ones we met in the desert intervene? They won't. I developed a good rapport with them. Madam may we have permission to worship your child please? Yes you may. He is God's child. Welcome friends. You are dressed strangely. We are, from a different place. That girl will catch her death of cold but you are welcome to visit. Thank you. That is very gracious of you. Take good care of my baby. I need to step out for a few minutes. Zach what are you doing? Why are you kneeling? I am giving thanks that we are all right. I am going to go get the others. They should see this. Well how do you like this? We meet again at a different place. I am still holding out hope that you can tell me about the thing in the sky that I know is hovering above our heads. I am glad that hope keeps you going. I still think you are a long ways from home. And you are still far ahead of your time. Let us worship this child together. Despite our continued pleasantries I would like to call you friend. You honor me. Now let's worship the child together. The others came as well, worshipping and adoring the child. Still they felt dread for they knew that their ticket back to their time was gone. And so, the Tri-Planet Security Agreement, having been ratified by all parties present, now officially takes effect. Thank you all for fostering a new era in cooperation in this solar system. Matt what are we going to do about the crew of the Fortune? The portal has been destroyed. How can we get them back? We are working on recreating the portal from readings we took while it was open. Captain Stone please come to Ops. Top priority. What is it Missy? What is happening? Matt we are picking up a temporal disturbance just a few miles off the station. Also, 
the Zorkin device appears to be resetting itself after the other one was destroyed. I believe the Earth may soon revert. Is there any evidence that the two are related? I do not believe so. The disturbance does not have the same signature. Have Discovery go right to the edge. I want a close up. Julie we have a temporal disturbance a very short distance away and we have been ordered to investigate. Yellow alert. How far away is it? About 10 miles. It is really close. Jill let's get a close up. Charge the forward guns. Stay sharp. Our systems are being rerouted. They are being reprogrammed. I can't stop it. Sound battle stations. This is an internal emergency. Skin for intruders. Commander's lock. We have left the surface, and without any means of getting back, we are contemplating where to go. I believe that the Earth will soon revert to the way it was under the Zorkons. Elaine something is happening. Our systems are being tampered with. I don't understand it. My instruments are showing power increases and configuration changes. I am looking at it. It seems that the ship is being reprogrammed for both time travel and speeds many times the speed of light. Our settings are being reprogrammed. The ship is initiating time travel. This is way beyond our technology. What is the setting for? Where are we going? It looks like our own time, but how? Be ready for anything. This is beyond Pleiadian technology as well. Julie it is Fortune. She has somehow come back to us. Contacting. See you on the station. Captain's log. Though we are puzzled and delighted by the return of fortune, for now we are having our Christmas party. This year it has special meaning because of the events that unfolded. Some of our people are wondering if it even happened, but not Zach, he seems firmly convinced that it did. Everyone is making merry and singing. Even the Greys are braving some of our synthetic earth food, but they have not yet learned to sing carols. I will be turning in. I ate some of that synthetic bird and now I am feeling sleepy. Do you think they are trying to poison us? No the humans seem to have the same reaction. Curious creatures, I think they enjoyed it. I had something called apple pie, made with a pastry crust and a fruit. It was almost palatable. I guess we have to expect a certain amount of contamination. The worst part is, I am starting to like it.